Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your love reading. And as always, please remember that this reading may not resonate with every Gemini, with every Gemini out there. So take the messages that resonate with you. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Okay. You can check out um, my playlist link below to check out your other signs for more messages and guidance. Uh, two more things I'll just say there will be an extended reading link below if you'd like to check that out and additionally I do give away personal readings each month so if you'd like to enter you just need to subscribe like and comment so good luck if you try to if you'd like to enter and let's get started with your reading so let's get the energy for Gemini what is Gemini needing to know in love and give me just a moment i feel like the camera was a little crooked <laughs> okay what does gemini need to know in love what's the energy for gemini okay okay you got three cards here gemini and bottom of the deck here you have the angel of balance so the energy i get here is like the temperance energy there is some sort of divine timing or patience in your situation okay number 48 which is 12 which is three okay so i feel uh there is something in the works here right there's something manifesting for you you also have another uh number uh 39 12 which is also three here it's the fifth chakra archangel gabrielle so i feel there's an energy um with these other relating cards that this is really about being your true authentic self and being very true to yourself and the reason i uh sense that is because there's an energy here of indecision and door to value so you have number 31 and you have eight right I feel like you may be at a crossroads, Gemini, trying to make some sort of decision. I feel this is really about you valuing yourself, right? Being true to yourself, as I said here with the fifth chakra. But this also can be an energy that there may be something that you're needing to speak up about, right? Or you may be wanting to say something to someone because they are not respecting or valuing you. And some of you may be making that decision to... Um, it's interesting I'm hearing take the high road <laughs> okay but I feel like you may be making that decision to choose a new path in your life a path where you're going to feel more valued and that is the energy that I'm picking up there but it's a, it's an energy here of indecision right no, not knowing which direction to go in and I really feel the energy this is really about you being true to yourself right making decisions um, and, and knowing your self-worth in a situation okay i also feel here with the door to value you may be doing very good on the financial front there may be new opportunities opening up for you for you to make money i'm picking up that energy as well so let's see what additional messages there are for you gemini thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what messages do you have for gemini in love all right you have the king of wands aries leo sag energy the three of swords aquarius libra and your energy gemini six of cups cancer scorpio pisces three of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo Six of Pentacles, again, Earth Energy. And um, Eight of Swords. Yeah. Again, your Energy, Gemini. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Star card. Okay. I feel, Gemini, you're, you're at that crossroads, right? I feel like there's a situation where you're dealing with a particular person. I feel like this is somebody in your life. I'm not picking up new love at this moment, but we're gonna pull more cards, so that can come out as well. But I'm sensing here, um, Gemini, and if I didn't say that, this is um, Aquarius energy. I'm getting here, Gemini. I feel like there's a particular person here 
that definitely I feel um, you had a lot of love for it, and I feel like this person hurt you okay I feel like there is some heartbreak here there is some sort of loss I feel like you're hopeful in the situation that this person is definitely going to take some sort of action that they value you that they respect you and I feel like you know you're hoping that this person is going to take some sort of action right to work on things with you I'm also getting the energy here um, that part of this heart heartache this loss right this hurt is that you may be feeling that this person didn't put in the effort or this person like I said didn't value you okay and I feel this is an energy here where you're really trying to be true to yourself in the situation and I feel like it's almost that energy if you don't see some sort of effort from this person that's where you're making this decision to maybe move in a new direction right to take another path uh, move on from this person maybe opening yourself up to new love because um, I feel the energy here there's definitely an imbalance and it feels like this person isn't doing what it takes right to get things moving or to put in that effort in this connection and not valuing you right uh, because you're it's an energy here where you're feeling stuck I feel like you're definitely thinking about this person in the past thinking about past memories this also can be your person who uh, could be somebody here who definitely has fears right has fears um, because of past baggage past hurt that they've gone through right so let's pull some more cards, see what else comes up. Now, like I said, you have the star card here. I do feel this is a hopeful energy. So you or your person, somebody is hopeful that the situation can work out. Now you do have here the page of pentacles, right? There is some sort of message coming through to you, some sort of good news, right? And look, you got the two of swords. That's that indecisive energy, that crossroads energy. You may be holding back from doing anything, like I said, wanting your person to take some sort of action, right? Or just feeling like you don't have clarity in a situation. Is this person going to put in more effort? Is this person going to reach out to me? Is this person, you know, going to work on things, right? Step up to the plate here as this king of wands. Let's pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. What else can you tell Gemini about love and their situation? You have the Ten of Wands. And you have the Strength card. So you got a lot of fire energy here. Aries, Leo, and a strong Leo, and Sagittarius. And again here, here's that Two of Swords energy. So this is what I'm seeing. I feel like you're struggling here with this Eight of Wands, this Ten of Wands, an energy where I feel like you're wanting this person to put in the effort with communication. But the nice thing here is with this Ten of Wands, it shows me that there is an energy of this coming to an end, the struggle coming to an end. So they're telling you here to have courage and have strength, right? So if you are holding back from taking any sort of action, I feel um, that is what is necessary in your situation because you also have here the world card. So it does show me some sort of change or new cycle that is coming in for you where you're going to feel more free, more balanced. Now, it may be too that you're needing to make that decision, right? So let's uh, clarify some cards. I want to clarify why this Eight of Wands is here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? You have the World card, the King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles, and bottom of the deck here, you have the Five of Pentacles. And yeah, that's what I was saying. I feel like there's an energy here that you're feeling hurt in your situation, that this person didn't value you. Um, you know, maybe feeling left behind in a situation, wanting clarity, okay, for uh, this person's lack of action or lack of communication. 
<clears throat> you have the world card, you have the king of pentacles, and you have the nine of pentacles. So I'm sensing, like I said, I feel this burden is going to be released soon. Whether this is you or your person, right? I feel there's an energy um, that the struggle is going to be over, okay? It's going to get to a place where you're going to feel more stable, right? The world card shows me there's a new beginning. Now, for some of you, the struggle could be that there is actually a travel distance between you and your person. I want to clarify this um, Six of Pentacles. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Six of Pentacles here, please? Some of you actually may be doing some traveling, um, maybe doing some business traveling, or uh, this is also an energy here. You may be very focused on your money. Okay, it can be your person too, right? Let's see. All right, you have the Empress. You have the Four of Swords. And you have the five of wands and bottom of the deck here, you have the death card, okay? I feel there is a situation where the, the things ended with you and your person. But this also can be Scorpio energy and it also can be an energy, you know, whenever there's an ending, there is a, a, tr a new transformation. There's a new beginning here. You have the Empress, the Four of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Again, with this Empress, I'm picking up that energy. This is about you being true to yourself, right? I feel you have a really good energy right now. It's very high uh, vibrational. As I said, I feel like the person you're dealing with is somebody who hasn't <clears throat> put in that effort, right? Maybe it may even be they haven't given you stability or um, commitment in a situation. <coughs> Excuse me. You have the four of wands and you have the five of wands. It definitely shows an energy where you and this person may be taking a break. There's some distance. You may be in separation. And I'm feeling that with this five of wands, it could even be an energy where there could be some sort of competition. There could be another person involved and that's not going to be for all of you, right? But I feel like your person... And this can be you as well, okay? It is coming up the Four of Swords energy, but you have the Five of Wands. So you have you have a lot of fire. You have a lot of air here. You actually have a lot of earth as well. But I feel that your person is definitely thinking about things, right? There's an energy here of them taking time to themselves. And it's an energy here of, of them... Um, Trying to restore balance, I feel, okay? And they may be going through their own personal struggles, as I said here with this Ten of Wands. They, there could be something here with finances with your person as well. But I sense here in the center of your reading of the Three of Pentacles, you have the Six of Pentacles, and you have the Six of Cups. This person's definitely thinking about you. I sense here there definitely is some sort of renewal happening here. Again, you have the Strength card, Leo Energy, telling me to have strength. In your situation if you're holding back I feel like you're doing the right thing you also have the king of cups and you have the ten of Pentacles right so this person does have a lot of feelings and emotions for you again ten of Pentacles right I feel like this person is thinking about you I feel like this person is thinking about the future I feel like they do see you as somebody um, that they could have a long-term relationship with but at the same token, I feel like this person is not sharing their thoughts or their feelings with you at this time. Now, it can be this uh, Eight of Swords. It feels like your energy, but it can be your person who is actually feeling stuck for some reason. This is somebody who is caught up in their thoughts, their feelings, why, um, you know, but they're not letting those feelings or emotions out, right? I also see the King of Wands sometimes as somebody who is contemplating, right? They're thinking, they're planning, right? What their next move is, right? What their next action is. Why is the Eight of Swords here, please? All right, so you have the Justice card, Strong Libra Energy. You have the Sun card. 
And you have the Hermit, okay. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're dealing with someone here who may be focused on their money right now. The Pentacles keep coming up. Somebody who's trying to regain stability. This could be you as well. You could be very focused on your money, like I said. But I feel like doors are opening up for you on the financial front, right? And I feel like you're just doing what is true to you. And you may be in a place right now of indecision. And it can be in all areas of your life. But I feel this has to do with love. And I feel it's an energy where, you know, you're holding back from making any decisions, taking any actions when it comes to love. And I feel like that's what you're being guided here to take. Because I do sense here, you know, whether this is you or your person, I, could, I feel it could be both of you. You have the Justice card, the Sun card, and the Hermit. I feel there is some sort of justice coming in in your situation, but at the same token, I feel like you're really looking at things, looking at your life, using your intuition, and your intuition may be telling you to hold back, right? Uh, because I feel like this person could be involved in something else, right? Some other struggle going on in their life, and that might be why things are not moving forward, okay? But I feel the strong guidance in this reading is for you to really be true to yourself and focus on the things that you love. And some of you, I feel here, it is career. Now, I'm going to take this to the extended. We're going to look at how your person is thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love messages, and guidance. And um, if the energy doesn't feel good, I'll also look at what's coming in for new love. So I hope to see you on the extended Gemini. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.